What's up, one tonners? Uncle Josh here. Another episode of uh, Hey, I'm gonna cook something. <laughs> I, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, we have today something amazing that I'm gonna be fixing. And let me get it all out of the fridge. All right, so first, the veggies. We got some wonderful asparagus, and I'm also gonna cook, probably mostly for myself, some um, rice and cauliflower. And I don't know if you've ever had this, but this stuff is pretty darn good. And it's very simple. You literally just uh, break it up, throw it in the microwave, um, for like six minutes and it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my first bag in. Let it be doing its thing while I get everything else prepped. Alright. Uh, asparagus over here. The main dish, I'll go ahead and uh, let you know words of our buddy DMV is going to be striped bass so I went out with uh, Rob from two old vets out on his boat in Smith Mountain Lake and uh, we caught we caught our limit which was four stripers and he was gracious enough to let me have all the meat so I was pretty excited but I tell you what this is some beautiful beautiful meat it's just unbelievable I cannot wait to make this dish. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna do some, I'm not gonna do it all the same, but I might. I'm um, gonna do blackened, um, blackened striper. And then uh, I'm gonna put it over a bed of cauliflower and then some uh, semi crispy, crunchy asparagus with uh, a little bit of a lemon lemon and garlic kind of flavoring to the asparagus and then I'm going to take the leftover uh, butter and oils and whatnot from cooking the asparagus and I'm going to use that to make a sauce to go over top of everything so hope you enjoy it first thing you need a sharp knife no this is not an Uncle Josh knife I'm okay with that this is actually I have had this knife for 15 20 years it's just a cheap Farberware that I got from Walmart and it has been an absolutely amazing knife. But here's a little tech tip for you, or a little pro tip. You get these uh, asparagus, it's the thinner ones, thinner stalks, and uh, if you take it and smack it down a few times to get all the stalks to line up, leave it in the package, and then start cutting right where the white part stops and then it starts getting to the lighter colored green. Cut it right through, just like that. And that's the part you discard and it's no mess. Makes it a whole lot cleaner cooking. And so I'm actually gonna cook the asparagus itself. It's gonna be cooked in the cast iron pan. Um, the fish I'm gonna cook in the oven. I think that'll be quite, uh, quite delicious. All right. So I'm going to set these aside because I'm not quite ready to start them yet. I'm starting the cauliflower just because that takes a while. Alright, so next thing. I know I've, I've got a foil line pan. It's just preference. Put a little bit of spray oil on it. I'm using canola this time. You can use whatever you're comfortable with. Um, the next thing is I'm going to go ahead and start opening up the uh, packages of 
fish. I've already uh, prepared it, cleaned it, all that. Uh, let me cut it into portions. <laughs> I don't think somebody's gonna want a big, huge chunk of fish, but you never know. Cool thing is I'm gonna get to enjoy this with my wife and my son and his new fiance. And uh, I don't know, I might be able to talk them into uh, giving their opinion on camera. So these right here are, these, these beautiful strips are like one quarter of, of the fillets off a of fish. So there's, there'd be another half right here that would be one fillet. So you wanna get good, uh, good sized portions. That meat is just unreal. Look at that. I'm gonna cook a fair amount, as if I have leftovers, it's not gonna hurt my feelings. <laughs> Something tells me though, we're probably not going to have too much on the way of leftovers. <clears throat> just saying there's uh, four of us eating. See, I had put these in the freezer, not, uh, Realizing I was going to be having company. And then, uh, yeah. So they kind of started a par freeze, I guess you'd say. Alright, so I got enough room probably for one more. One more pack. I can't get over really, truly, just how unreal this meat looks. But this being a, a freshwater fish, because the lake we got it out of is a, um, what we call a landlocked lake, which basically means that um, it, the fish in it can't get to the ocean. Uh, there's no fish ladders or anything like that. I'm going to cut this piece so I can just fit it in there. There we go. Beautiful. Keep your work area clean. Sink. Real quick. Right back we go. All right. Okay, so next thing we're going to go ahead and uh, prepare the fish as follows. I'm going to use a little bit of avocado oil. Oh yeah, this stuff gives it such a nice smell. Avocado oil is great because it shouldn't burn either. All right. So one thing that you can do if you don't want to get your hands all greasy is you can take a paper towel. You still want to get make sure the oil is spread. Because the oil is going to be what uh, helps make kind of like a crust with the blackening seasoning. So this time I am going to use, I'm going to use some Slap Your Mama. Slap Your Mama. Cajun seasoning. <clears throat> now some of y'all are going to wonder why I'm not doing both sides. Slap Your Mama is strong. You really don't need it on both sides. So, plus I won't be uh, flipping this in the middle. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So, the fish is prepped. It's ready to go. I'm just going to swap spots. Alright, now one bag of uh, cauliflower rice is done. I'm going to put the other one in. Get that going. Now, to make my uh, asparagus, put a little bit of oil in the pan. Doesn't take much because butter, baby. B -b -b butter. B -b -b butter. You cannot go wrong with butter. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to split that up a little bit. I have a little too much. So, 
We'll do about half. So this is half of a three quarters of a stick. So somebody do the math on that. <laughs> Put in the comments what that is, because I ain't doing it. But what I will do, I'm gonna cut the butter up in little pieces, little pads. And I'm going to add that to the fish. Because this fish really lends itself well to cooking with butter. It does, does a phenomenal job. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven. Uh, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bake. Now I'm going to pump it up because this, this is okay to have cooked fast. So I'm going to do it to 425. It's going to take about eight minutes for it to heat up. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and heat up my front burner for my cast iron pan for the asparagus. And I'll come back to see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. So we got the uh, butter and oil heated up. We'll go ahead and put the asparagus in. Let it start cooking. So this is this asparagus is pre-washed and already uh, good to go. It makes it a lot easier. I know it's a little more expensive, but to me it's worth it. Let that sizzle. The other cauliflower rice is done. Woo! Gracious. It's hot. I'm just saying, it's hot. In case you didn't know, it's um, hot. See, a lot of people use like spatula and stuff. I am a huge fan of tongs. It's just so much easier <laughs> for me, anyway. A lot less mess, in my opinion. So I've got this right now on like medium high. I'll probably end up turning it down at some point, but I want to get a good, good sear kind of going. Now I'm kind of moving the asparagus around because I want to make sure I'm getting butter and oil on all of it. I don't want any dry asparagus right now. Later on, yeah, maybe. But for right now, no. Yeah. Because it'll turn to mush real quick. And this is one of my wife's favorite things that I cook. Is that asparagus. This already smells so good and there's not even any seasoning or anything on it. This is bud.
turn this down a little bit for now. I got the sear that I wanted. In case you're wondering, this is what I'm talking about. Just got a little bit of a brown sear on the ends of it. So that's the part that's going to get crispy by the tip of, the, of the asparagus. The rest of it, not so much. I mean, technically it's crispy now because you know, it's raw. But <laughs> when it's done cooking, it won't be. All right, that's my sign. It's time to put the fish in the oven. I'm gonna give you a look at it, give you a nice little before shot. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Go ahead and put it, I'm gonna put it on the bottom rack. And then I set my timer uh, about 10 minutes. And then uh, once that's done, I'm going to pump it up to broil. And uh, while it's on broil, I'm going to put the fish on the top. And I want it to almost caramelize on the very top of it. All right, I'll come back to y'all after a while. All right, we are getting close. You see this is uh, kind of taking on a new form. Look at the Oh, That's so beautiful. In case y'all hear some god awful noise in the background, my wife is a, unfortunately a Dallas Cowboys fan and it's Sunday. So yeah, she's watching the game. All right, so first thing is I'm going to turn this down just a little bit more. I'm going to take the uh, fish out of the oven. Okay, one more step before I crank it up to broil. Well, I'm going to turn it on. And you'll be able to see it's not finished cooking by any means. However, it is looking pretty. So one thing that I like to do, um, this is kind of a little uh, tip for you is um, I want a fair amount of garlic flavor, but I don't want a lot of actual physical garlic. So I take this, I already chopped, I'm, I'm cheap. And I uh, put my finger over it right here. And I just want some juice. We'll get a couple pieces here and there, but put some juice on it. Good to go. Let me get the uh, paper down, clean up the mess. All right. Go ahead and pop that back in the oven. Add in some broil. Put it on the top shelf. And I got a pan in there still. It's sweet. Move that pan out the way. Man, it smells so good already. All right. Now to finish the asparagus, it's looking like it's burnt, but it's actually not, y'all. This is what I was talking about when I say crispy cooks down to next to nothing and there's a reason I turned down the uh, heat because I'm going to be putting some fresh garlic by fresh I mean out of this jug <laughs> get some good garlic in there oh man I get uh, parsley flakes. So let's go ahead and do the scoop side. So you might be thinking, well, gosh, Josh, that's a lot of parsley. Isn't that going to burn? Well, it probably would if I wasn't putting lemon juice in it. This is how I finish off the asparagus. I'm putting a few tablespoons, but, you know, not much more than that. And you might be thinking, well, hey, dude, you just said you wanted your asparagus crispy. 
and you just added liquid to it, doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? Yes, it does, at first. But I'm gonna let it cook down until most of that juice is gone. And then we're gonna kind of get some natural caramelization. That's beautiful. I don't even know if y'all can see that, but it smells amazing. Working with fish, everybody knows lemon always goes good with fish, so why not have your side dish be that uh, lemon or you know citric kind of uh, citrus uh, flavor? So you don't nece necessarily have to always put it on your fish itself. You can, and it'll be fine. It'll be good, but it's not necessary. I want to taste the fish. That's why I didn't go too crazy heavy with the seasoning. I could, I could have made it like traditional blackened fish. That's not what I'm going for. I'm almost going for more of like a Cajun style um, without necessarily the burnt smokiness that you would get out of a traditional blackened. So you can see it's starting to get darker and the juice is starting to dry up. That's that lemon juice. The natural sugars in it are starting to caramelize onto the asparagus. So that's as far as I'm going to take that on the burner. I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the heat. Just keep in mind, guys, you're working with a cast iron skillet. You know, it's going to get hot. I don't care what you do. It's all one solid piece of metal. It's going to get hot. So go ahead and uh, cut the stove off. Take the pan off the heat so it doesn't uh, continue to get hotter. And keep, uh, keep your asparagus moving around. It's going to keep cooking. You can hear the sizzle really slow down once you take it off the heat, so I can kind of slow down on my stirring a little bit. Right. Now, I did not set a timer for this part of the fish cook, and that's just because uh, I, I kind of have to watch it and play it by ear. Or, well, by eye, because I'm not going to hear it. Yeah, put the lemon juice up. We don't need that anymore. It's a little smoky in here when you're working with this dish. Oh. Mm. My, 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 my. Alright guys, so the fish is getting pretty close to being done. Not quite. So what I want to do is I, I went ahead and uh, got my pan back hot. Just kind of finish off the uh, asparagus a little bit. Now I'm getting out of my fine china. And, uh, I'm just gonna kind of take my asparagus and transfer it over to the fine china because, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna make y'all a uh, sauce to put over top of the fish. All right, so this pan is getting hotter. It's time to make the sauce. Took the asparagus out. I did not wipe out any of the garlic, parsley, any of that stuff that's in there. And we'll go ahead and put a couple tablespoons of butter because butter makes everything better yeah and what I'm doing in case you're wondering I'm not just trying to melt butter I'm using the butter to loosen up the chunks or whatever you want to call it there's a fancy name for it I just can't think of it right now off of the uh, pan itself so so it doesn't stick I'm not deglazing just yet but you're close my son's here in case y'all wonder <laughs> and it's a beautiful wonderful fiance Savannah you guys will meet them a little bit later hopefully when uh, it comes time to taste test all right once the butter is melted the next thing you want to do is now you want to deglaze the pan ah. well, I'm going to use a little bit of mirror and I want a little sweetness this is a cooking wine. All right, it doesn't take too much. We don't need a ton of sauce. I'm gonna crank the heat up just a little. I'm gonna cook this. Uh, I cook the alcohol out of it. So, 
just keep on stirring. And you'll be able to tell when the alcohol is out of it. We're also trying to cook the uh, dairy out of the butter for the most part. You're kind of going to end up with like a clarified butter, wine kind of mixture. It's going to change colors. Keep on stirring. smell that if you can't I'm sorry it means you weren't invited all right so that's pretty pretty done let's see the darkness has kind of changed a little bit the clarity of it so it's all starting to turn brown go ahead and cut the heat off and now if I had heavy cream I use some heavy cream, but I'm going to have to use a little bit of my wife's coffee creamer. She's giving me the look right now. You don't need a whole lot of cream in this, just a little bit. back when it comes time to plate all right guys it's that time Let's see what this stuff looks like it smells good Ooh. it's hot For plating, I am going to use a spoon for my fancy cauliflower. on it here. Last but not least, asparagus, so you drop everything in the sink. It works too. Okay, I lied. It's not last but not least. The last but not least is the sauce. need a whole lot of the sauce it's pretty concentrated plus just in case they don't like it <laughs> I don't want to ruin the whole meal all right we'll come back to y'all when it comes time to taste
All right, guys. So this is my boy Corey, his girl Savannah. They're gonna try this and see if it tastes like crap or if it's decent. It's probably what they think, right? <laughs> so try the fish first. The rice, oh, 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 sorry, the cauliflower rice too. Yeah, I don't care. I'm gonna get fish. It's probably hot. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's like that. Flaky. Yeah, I'm saying really flaky. <laughs> it's a good flavor to it too. Yeah. Is it? It's almost has yeah. like a chicken kind of texture. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's got a different texture, yeah. It's, good. it's a little more firm than a lot of fish. A lot of fish is real like especially freshwater fish. Mm -hmm. They get real mushy. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna let y'all eat. Deuces.